Prompt engineering is one of the simplest and most commonly used methods to build an LLM application. And in this lesson, we'll explore the concept of prompt engineering and why it's such an important concept. But before understanding what prompt engineering is, let's understand what does a prompt refers to. We know that LLMs have been trained on massive data sets and are capable of following the instructions from the user. It gains the knowledge of the events, facts, or any other information present in the training data. And we can access this knowledge present in the LLMs through prompts. So prompt is a text given to the LLM as an input for getting the desired output. A prompt is like telling the LLM what you want it to do or answer for you. Simply enter what you're looking for and the LLMs will provide you the information which you need. So now let's go to the chat GPT interface and interact with it through a few prompts. As you can see, this is the chat GPT 3.5 version which I'm going to use. And so let's say the first example which I want it to do is to make a content strategy for a newsletter featuring free local weekend events. So let's say I want to create a new newsletter or I am already running a newsletter, but I want a better content strategy. Let's try and give this prompt to chat GPT and see what it does. So as you can see, it starts giving me the output. It says me to define the audience, the frequency, define the newsletter sections, the format, engagement and interaction, theme newsletter, local partnerships, email design, consistent branding, personalization, promotions and giveaway, legal consideration, adaptability, email automation. Wow, mind blowing, right? So, so with just one prompt, it gave me almost all the knowledge which I need to actually create this content strategy and maybe implement it. So you can see the power which it gives for someone and the productivity gain which it might create, right? Let's try a new example. So again, I'll just go to a new chat. And this time I'll, let's say I want to start a new brand of snacks and let's see if we can use it to brainstorm a few ideas. So I'm saying I want to start a new brand of food snacks can you help me with a few ideas about an exciting brand name let's see what it does wow now look at the amount of creativity so it was able to create these 20 brand names and some of them look really interesting, Severy Spell, Nibble Nook, right? So, so it clearly knows what I am looking for, what is the thought, and let me make it a bit more interesting. So I would just go and edit my prompt. So this is something you can do in the interface. And I say that I want to start a new brand of healthy food snacks. So I'm, I'm changing that and let's see what it does to the output, right? So again, with just a simple prompt, it was able to create 20 new names or a lot of new names, which now focus on health. So again, the amount of creativity which it packs is probably more than what a few brand specialists would do. In, in a much longer time. So that's the kind of power which it creates. Let's, let's take one more example. So again, I'll start with a new interface. And this time, I'll ask it to give me a learning path. So what I'll ask it is, can you create a learning path for a fresh non-computer science graduate who wants to 
enter into data science and i'll just say provide step by step path for the scene and let's see what it does right so it's just amazing that it started from prerequisite so very clean structure you can see that uh, it has a lot of context about any task right and then it says that i can focus on some of the core concepts advanced skills specialization adding personal experience networking and portfolio and continuous learning so as you can see just by writing simple prompts you can do a lot of astonishing things which till a few months or a few quarters back was something for which you would need a lot of expertise and that is the power of chat gpt with some very very simple prompts so before understanding what a prompt engineering is let's understand why do we need it most of the times these llms provide correct outputs to the input prompts but sometimes they fail to provide correct outputs and can go wrong for example they are not very good at multiplying numbers and will often give you an incorrect answer so let me take a new task and this time i am asking the chat gpt a simple math question what is 923 multiplied by 99999 and let's see what it does so it was able to give me the answer but it's not the right answer so let's check that on a calculator it was 923 multiplied by and as you can see it gave me an approximate answer it's not the right answer so the actual answer has double 9 what it has given me is double 8 so there is a error and that's what you need to be careful about however if i write the prompt again as what is 923 multiplied by 99999 and now instead of uh, just leaving it there i would say let's go step by step and always write out the full number of zeros so i'm just trying to be as explicit as possible and this time it is outlining but you can see that the answer is right and uh, so so it can take a few iterations it can take a few things to get it right so let's look at another example another demo where i wanted to write a poem in a particular style so let me start a new window and let's say i say write a poem about analytics with ya let's see what it does and it was able to create a very nice poem uh, which brings out some of the values about analytics with ya it tells what we usually do so it it gets a lot of things right but let's say i want it to be written in a very different style and let me say that so let me say that i want this poem to be written in a different manner so i'll just say write a poem about analytics with ya in the style of shakespeare let's see what it does and you can see that it has changed the way it has written the poem and it's still able to do it so as you can see the tone has changed the elements have changed and it's looking lot more similar to what a shakespeare writing is that's exactly why we need prompt engineering prompt engineering helps us to improve the accuracy of our output and also helps us in achieving the desired and specific outputs so prompt engineering is the process of refining the prompts over iteration to get the optimal outputs 
Prompt engineering is all about iterative way to improve your prompts. It's about considering how to rewrite the prompt to get better results and exploring different ways to achieve the required outcome. It's an iterative process where you write a prompt, see the result, and then rewrite the prompt again to get the desired output. And this process continues. Mastering prompt engineering comes through extensive practice and experience with these LLMs. There are some best practices to write effective prompts and methods for prompt engineering. And that will be the focus on the rest of this course. But if you are wondering what is the way forward to build LLM applications using prompt engineering, when building LLM applications using prompt engineering, you need to have access to two things, a pre-trained LLM model and the right prompts with required information to achieve the desired outcome. Prompt engineering is one of the simplest and easiest ways to build LLM applications as it does not involve any technical knowledge or coding to build these applications. This method does not involve any model training as well. And this means that you don't have to worry about the training data or there is no need to worry about computing resources. So it's a cost effective and efficient approach. When using enterprise LLM APIs such as OpenAI or Claude, they charge you based on the number of prompts. If you opt for an open source LLM, you'll have to host the model on the cloud and access it through your API, incurring cloud costs for deployment and maintenance. In this case, you'll need to afford the cloud costs of deploying and maintaining a LLM. The prompt engineering based applications are not consistent with their outputs. There is no guarantee that the output will always be correct. It might provide incorrect outputs as well. These applications may also hallucinate, so they make up answers which is not true. Hallucination is one of the fundamental problems in LLMs today and common with prompt engineering based applications. They often make up their own answers when they don't know the information. When you're prompting ChatGPT, you might come across the problem that the message you submitted was too long. Please reload the conversation and submit something shorter. This is because ChatGPT has the restriction on the number of input tokens up to 4096. It can take and accept only these number of tokens in a single prompt. When given more than that, it throws up an error. Likewise, every LLM has the restriction on the input length. Sometimes when you're building prompt-based applications, you might want to provide more information in the prompt to these LLMs. But this is not possible because of the restriction which I mentioned. And as a result, very less information fits into a single prompt. These applications completely rely on the LLMs used and the internal knowledge gained during the training process. These LLMs have the knowledge of the training data and are not up to date. So how do we enable external knowledge into LLMs apart from the data which it has been trained on? And that's where the next method, which is retrieval augmented generation comes into the picture. 